And also happening today, a teenager from Saline pleading guilty in the murder case of a Michigan State University student. Believe it or not, but a lot of the time, the way a convict looks can affect his or her future. Courtrooms around the globe have witnessed some exceptionally good-looking people on trial for hideous crimes. They aren't always aggressive, and they aren't always mastermind crooks. They do, however, have an extreme appeal when it comes to physical beauty. You could fall in love with just one peek at the folks on this list. However, you can't overlook the fact that all of these people have broken the law because of this. They ended up behind bars. Turns out being pretty won't make you a law-abiding citizen. Here are the 15 incredibly hot females in court. Number 1. Jennifer Fichter Jennifer Fichter graduated from the University of Florida with a bachelor's degree in English back in December 2006. She worked as an instructional teacher at Robinswood Middle School. However, she was removed from that school for inappropriate behavior later on. In August 2011, Fichter was employed as an English teacher at Kathleen High School and was paid $40,530 per year. Fichter was dismissed by the Polk County School Board in April 2014, following her arrest for having relationships with three of her male students. Fichter was being detained in the Polk County Prison on a bail of $520,000. During her trial, she was convicted and sentenced to 22 years in jail in July of 2015. After her sentence was announced, a Polk County judge referred to her as a predator. The judge's sentencing was initially criticized, with the disproportionately harsh term loathed by many, and it's no surprise why so many hated the sentence. She originally got famous in Russia. Russians didn't like that a beautiful woman ended up behind bars, so they started a petition called VK on Russian Facebook, which gained over 14,000 signatures stating she should not be kept in a jail and should be sent home immediately. Because of her stunning looks, this was picked up by other media sites as well. The petition led people to say that 22 years in jail was way too far. She will be in her 50s when she gets out. As of now, Victor is incarcerated in the Gadsden Correctional Center and is set to be released on January 19, 2035. Number 2. Alyssa Bathrick Alyssa Bathrick is a young woman from North Carolina who rose to prominence when her mugshot went viral on social media in 2014. The photograph showed her smiling and staring directly into the camera, with the message, Surrendered myself at 7 a.m., freed at 11.30 a.m. Felony charges have been withdrawn. The picture and caption rapidly went viral, and Alyssa earned the moniker Lovely Mugshot Girl or Prison Selfie Girl. One person commented under her post, Big eyes, big trouble, while others couldn't handle how she was looking so graceful in that mugshot. Bathrick stated on Twitter that she would have not been discovered if her ex-boyfriend hadn't told on her, but she will have no difficulty finding a new lover. While her mugshot was notable for its odd composition and her remarkable appearance, circumstances surrounding the arrest were far more severe. Alyssa was arrested on narcotics-related charges, especially for illegally possessing Xanax. She was arrested and handed the classic orange jumpsuit to wear, and while most people think this makes them look bad, many people thought on the internet that Alyssa looked great in orange. Soon after her detention, she was freed on bond, but ultimately she pled guilty to the allegations. She was sentenced to 18 months of supervised probation in order to pay penalties and perform community service. Despite the attention she received online, Alyssa expressed sorrow for her actions and the attention they garnered her. In a subsequent interview, she revealed that she was battling with addiction at the time of her arrest and was self-medicating with illegal substances. Number 3. Angie San Clemente Whenever someone hears about narcotic smugglers, they assume the criminal would be scary looking. However, this is an exceptional case. Angie San Clemente is a Colombian model and former beauty queen who rose to prominence after being implicated in a narcotics trafficking network. She was born in 1979 and became famous in the early 2000s after winning the Miss Coffee Beauty Contest. Angie traveled to Argentina after winning a beauty competition and began a modeling career. She eventually became involved in a narcotics trafficking organization, reportedly utilizing her fashion business connections to transfer illegal substances from South America over to Europe. She trafficked narcotics from South America to several European countries. After splitting up with her partner, a narco mobster known as the Monster, she formed a competing group. Angie went into hiding for five months when one of her workers was arrested, but she was tracked down by her Facebook profile and jailed in Buenos Aires in 2010. She was sentenced to six years and eight months in prison but served just half of it. The media dubbed her the most beautiful criminal ever, and her photos went viral on the internet thanks in part to her stunning appearance and the extraordinary circumstances of her arrest. 
During the trial, she maintained her innocence, stating that she was not involved in trafficking and it was instead the victim of a setup. And it worked. She was both badass and stunning. People couldn't stop obsessing over her. It's not very often that you get to see a beautiful model who is also a bit adventurous. Number 4. Stephanie Bodan She's a Canadian woman who gained stardom after being labeled the world's sexiest thief in 2014. She was born in Quebec in 1993. This girl not only looks stunning, but also has a reputation for being one of the most viral prisoners. Stephanie was arrested and charged with 114 charges of burglary and theft in 2014 after a string of break-ins in the region. She was so popular that her arrest became international news thanks in part to her remarkable looks. The fact that she was a nursing student at the time of her crimes really raised some questions. Stephanie allegedly broke into hundreds of houses in the neighborhood over several months taking jewelry, electronics, and other valuables. She was also accused of stealing several automobiles and being engaged in a hit-and-run accident while driving one of them. Stephanie pled guilty to many offenses after her arrest and was sentenced to 42 months in jail. She was also ordered to make amends with her victims. Despite all the crimes she committed, the public has been mesmerized by her looks and she's been dubbed the beautiful thief. A person who commented on one of her photos stated that she'll take your heart first then your possessions. Another person commented that he will even pay to get robbed by her, while several others joked about how she had stolen their heart. Her beauty made her famous even though she was a hardened criminal. Stephanie's case is proof that sometimes people forget all the bad stuff you've done just because they find you attractively. Number 5. Sarah Seawright Sarah's mugshot went viral in May 2016, making her an online sensation. Once her picture was initially shared on Tumblr, she became known as Jailhouse Bay or Prison Bay on social media. Sarah said on Facebook that she's honored to be a trending topic. A 28-year-old Arkansas resident with a wide, bright smile was detained on suspicion of aggravated robbery and rapidly drew notice for her stunning appearance and belligerent demeanor. Several media outlets also started to pick up on this trend. One media house stated that she was winning hearts on social media. While C. Wright's mugshot received a lot of attention, her criminal background goes far beyond that one event. She'd been in conflict with the law since 2012, according to court documents with offenses ranging from theft and forgery to kidnapping and violence. Afterwards, she pled guilty simply to obstructing apprehension, a Class B felony. In 2014, she was sentenced to five years of probation. Seawright has continued to garner attention and ignite controversy in the years since her mugshot went viral. Some believe she has turned her life around and moved on from her criminal past, while others are more concerned about the criminal than being treated like a celebrity and her social media presence may even be glamorized a dangerous and destructive lifestyle leading to a negative impact on others. Despite the negative attention surrounding her criminal history, Seawright has been complimented for her beauty and for her strength in the face of hardship. She has a sizable social media following and has profited from her viral popularity by selling goods and appearing in music videos. Number 6. Kayla Mendoza Mendoza was born in February 1995 and grew up in Hallandale Beach, Florida. She was well known for her remarkable beauty and frequently shared photos of herself on social media. Mendoza, despite her stunning appearance, suffered from substance abuse and had a history of risky conduct. Kayla Mendoza was pretty young when she became extremely popular after her appearance in court as a heavy drinker. She was involved in a deadly vehicle accident while drunk. After drinking and consuming narcotics with friends, Mendoza got behind the wheel of her automobile. She was going the wrong way on the Sawgrass Expressway when she collided with another car taking the lives of two young ladies. Mendoza survived the collision but was seriously injured. Mendoza's tale went viral after she sent the iconic tweet, Too Drunk, Too Care, just hours before the disaster. After her tweet, many people commented on her beauty and how they would love to go on a long night drive with her. Her case underscores the risks of drunk driving and the devastation it may cause in the lives of the innocent people affected. Mendoza was charged with two counts of DUI manslaughter after the collision and faced up to 30 years in prison. She pled guilty and received a sentence of 24 years in jail. Her punishment sparked debate, and some claiming it was excessively harsh, while others thought it was reasonable, given the gravity of her crimes. The good news is that she was permanently barred from driving a motor vehicle ever again. Number 7. Alexandria Vera Alexandria is a former middle school teacher from Texas who gained national notoriety in 2016 for having a relationship with one of her male students. Vera was 24 at the time and taught English at Stovall Middle School in Houston. Vera and the student allegedly began dating over the summer of 2015. The two lovebirds corresponded via social media and their friendship swiftly evolved into an intimate relationship at Vera's house. 
Vera allegedly fell pregnant with the student's child in January 2016, and she had an abortion when Child Protective Services began looking into her connection with the student. She was arrested in May 2016 and charged. Alexandra Vera was expelled and placed on administrative leave. The school's district police department reported the findings to the district attorney's office, which began filing the charges. Vera pled guilty to a lesser charge of aggravated assault in November 2016 and was sentenced to 10 years in prison. In 2023, she'll be eligible for parole. Vera's situation drew widespread attention due to two reasons. First was the nature of the crime, and the second was her looks. She used to post intimate pictures online. Vera's therapist, Karen Lawson, testified that Vera was, quote, motivated by being in love with the youngster. She stated that she had witnessed violence as a child and had a strong desire for love. Texas State District Judge stated in his punishment was designed to send a message to her and make an example of her since he's aware of a large number of similar situations. We want our teachers to teach our kids, remarked the judge. We want them to stay away from the students. Number 8. Lorena Taverna it's not every day that you find beauty queens in court. Lorena Taverna was not just some ordinary beauty queen either. The 21-year-old won the 2008 El Paso pageant and finished sixth in the 2008 Miss Texas USA competition. This gorgeous criminal was arrested on charges of larcenry and reportedly stealing a $69 shirt from Dillard's in El Paso's Sunland Park Mall. Lorena Taverna, Miss El Paso 2008, was arrested at 6.45 p.m. on Friday after store personnel reported the theft. According to the staff, Taverna, 21, stole the garment and put it in a plastic shopping bag before going out without paying. Workers halted Taverna outside the shop and waited for cops to come. After she was arrested, her mugshot became an internet sensation. People could not stop obsessing over her beauty. This story was picked up by various media outlets as well. One media outlet asked her audience whether she would look good in stripes. One person tweeted, Lorena Taverna gave the most beautiful mugshot ever. The 21-year-old denied stealing the clothing and stated, I'm going to contact my solicitor. This narrative cannot be continued. First and foremost, the story is incorrect. It's been twisted and misinterpreted. Therefore, I need to call my lawyer. It was later discovered that the former beauty queen also had two traffic court warrants. Tavera was charged with stealing an item worth more than $50 but less than $500. This proves that your pretty face won't save you from petty crimes. Number 9. Megan McCullough Megan McCullough, 27, of Zephyr Hills, was arrested for a DUI in July 2010, prompting her photo to be taken in an orange jumpsuit. Her attractive photo went viral online, and she captured the hearts of hundreds of men in just 24 hours, inspiring over-the-top confessions of love, innumerable memes, and even a few marriage offers. Nevertheless, she wasn't a model or actress, as many assumed. In fact, the incredibly attractive convict arrested for driving under the influence is a mother of four and a medical assistant from Florida. Authorities published her mugshot to the arrest records database, arrests.org, which is standard procedure. Her photo, however, was also included in a compilation of lovely ladies on The Chive, a blog of interest to males, two years later in August 2012. It also gained the attention of the story-sharing website Reddit, and spread like wildfire throughout the internet. Hundreds of guys created memes about her. One said, tell me what she did so I don't wind up in the same jail. Men wished to marry her, and several of them were hunting for her phone, wondering whether she is a model or not. She became quite famous on social media. Her immense beauty got her an invitation from a man who asked her to visit him in Ireland. Megan was out drinking with a girlfriend in Florida at the time. They were traveling together, and she had no intention of driving that night, but her friend decided to go with her partner. It was a great nice night, then she saw her boyfriend and said she wanted to go with him. Megan explained to the authorities, so I opted to drive home, which turned out to be a bad choice. Number 10. Christina Marie Carroll Christina Marie Carroll, an aspiring model, surrendered to Alabama state officials after taking the life of a disabled man in a hit-and-run accident over the weekend. The man was in a motorized wheelchair. Christina, who was 26 years old at the time, was charged with fleeing the scene of a fatal collision, according to Florence Police. She was released on a $2,500 bond. She allegedly hit an old man in a wheelchair who people say was already suffering from mental health problems. Mr. Doherty, the guy she hit, was airlifted to Huntsville Hospital with life-threatening injuries, and he passed away as a consequence of these injuries shortly afterwards. Authorities credit the public for assisting in locating Carol before she surrendered herself at the Lauderdale County Courthouse. The bulk of the tips we received said that they had seen the story on the news on Facebook it was a big assistance, the detective said at a press conference. They had seen the, the story on the news, uh, Facebook, uh, media. Um, that was a tremendous help. 
However, people also found out that she works as a model, and her images can be found on a variety of modeling websites. I'm interested in attempting new modeling techniques, stated in one of Christina's profiles. She did not become an instant internet sensation, however, many people started to compliment her beauty. Later on, she proved that she wasn't just a pretty face. Speaking of news outlets, she said, I'm thinking of increasing my portfolio. It'd be interesting in modeling for charitable causes. Because of her look and remorseful behavior, some people said it was an accident and that a young model does not deserve to be in a situation like this. Number 11. Shannon Sophia Everyone wants a pretty girlfriend, but no one wants a jealous one. A disgruntled girlfriend who was arrested for carving the word WAR into her boyfriend's automobile was left red-faced as she forgot to use the letter H. Shannon Sapia, 20, of Stamford, Connecticut, was arrested and reportedly scratching the misspelled phrase in the automobile belonging to her boyfriend and a friend. She was also suspected of puncturing tires on both automobiles. On August 7th, she appeared in court after being charged with two counts of first-degree criminal mischief. Sapia began sending abusive texts to her boyfriend referring to the fact that she keyed the cars and admitted to it at least once. She was summoned to the police station, however, she denied inflicting the damage there. After she left the premises, she sent a Snapchat message to many pals with the comment, Stanford cops have nothing on me, according to officers. Many people commented on her beauty, while others could not stop laughing at her English. Sophia also took to Twitter on the day that she was arrested and wrote, at least the fellas who were polite enough to buy me supper in there, followed by a picture of a police cruiser, most likely alluding to her time in detention. She soon became aware of her grammatical and spelling mistakes. Sophia answered her online critics in an Instagram post published addressing those who, quote, believe they know what occurred. She went on to say, what I did was inappropriate. She acknowledged that she is not an English major before concluding, we all make errors. Go about your lives. Number 12, Isabella Guzman. Isabella Guzman viciously took the life of her own mother inside their home in August 2013. She became famous online for her strange demeanor in court. Her video in court went viral seven years later and she became an internet star. Her family was astounded. She'd had behavioral challenges since she was a toddler, but loved ones characterized her as lovely and good-hearted. Guzman pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity when she was arrested. Her physicians diagnosed her with schizophrenia, and she was ordered to remain in a mental health facility. She took the life of her mother and then fled the scene afterwards. On the day of her arraignment hearing in 2013, Guzman had to be dragged out of her cell. And in the court, she made a series of bizarre faces at the camera, smirking and pointing at her eyes. She looked beautiful, yet deadly. Isabella Guzman pleaded not guilty, claiming that she was mentally ill. She hadn't even realized she was stabbing the victim. Rather, Guzman thought she had taken the life of a woman named Cecilia in order to save the world. Isabella Guzman immediately gained a following online. Commenters praised her beauty and speculated that she must have had a solid motive for the crime. One video of her court appearance received over 2 million views. Individuals even stated creating fan sites for Guzman on Facebook and Instagram. Number 13. Taylor Smith Taylor's case was both filled with beauty and adventure. Taylor Smith, 19, shoved her friend Jordan Holgerson, 16, from the Mountain Falls Regional Park Bridge in southwestern Washington state. As she fell into the water below, she suffered pierced lungs and six fractured ribs. It all started with a nice trip to the river for swimming. It took a dark turn when Taylor pushed her friend over the bridge. After throwing her companion from a 60-foot bridge, the teenager pleaded guilty to reckless endangerment. Smith was sentenced to two days in jail, fined $300, and told not to contact Ms. Holgerson for two years during a district court hearing in Clark County. She was also sentenced to 38 days of community service. I believed I was going to die while I was being hauled from the sea because I couldn't breathe, and I was witnessing my body's color altered by the second. Her mother, Janiel Holgerson, told the judge that she thought Smith should serve three days in prison, the same number of days her daughter had spent in the hospital after the event. She didn't hurry down to see whether Jordan was there after Taylor shoved her, Mrs. Holgerson said. She failed to appear at the hospital to check on Jordan. She didn't come over to our house to check on her or act in any other manner like a friend. At the hearing, Smith apologized to Ms. Holgerson, saying she had matured as a person. One thing is for sure, people were more interested in Taylor's looks than being worried about the girl who got pushed from the bridge. Number 14. Shayna Hubers Online dating can be fun sometimes, and can be dangerous as well. The case of Shayna Hubers is the perfect example. Shayna Hubers' life drastically changed in March of 2011. It all started when she got a Facebook friend request from an attractive stranger who loved a swimsuit photo she'd share. Ryan Poston, the stranger, became Hubers' boyfriend, and 18 months later, Hubers took his life. Hubers quickly grew fascinated with Poston. 
According to Poston's acquaintances, despite the fact that he supposedly lost interest early on, Hubers contacted him dozens of times each day, showed up at his condo and asked people whether she was prettier than his ex-girlfriend or not. Others had a different perspective on their connection. Although it may sound like Poston is a hot person here, Hubers was nothing short of gorgeous. It turns out that Hubers' sentiments towards Poston had begun to deteriorate. My love has turned to hatred, Hubers acknowledged to Poston, and she had considered shooting him when they went to a gun range. Nevertheless, in October of 2012, the tensions between Shayna and Ryan reached new heights. Ryan then planned a date with Miss Ohio Audrey Bolt, and Hubers appeared outside as he was about to leave his flat and they got into a huge fight, and Hubers shot Poston six times. This case is a classic example of looks can kill. Hubers continues to serve time behind bars. She's up for parole in 2032. Number 15. Stephanie Sloop Whenever someone thinks of a mother, one thinks of her as a comforter. However, this was not the case with the 31-year-old Leighton lady. She and her husband Nathan Sloop were accused of committing repeated acts of serious maltreatment that resulted in their son Ethan's death. Mary Corcoran, her counsel, told the judge that her client was suffering from battered spouse syndrome and was misusing prescription pills at the time that Ethan was being mistreated. Stephanie Sloop stated, I'm pleading guilty today because I am exactly that. I decided to misuse my meds to the point that I was unable to make sensible judgments, forcing me to be irresponsible and apathetic to Ethan's life. While I brought Ethan into this world, I was selfish. During his life, I was selfish. I refused to be selfish in the aftermath of his death and I refused to blame Nathan or anybody else. Although she was sad and guilty, people on the internet only cared about her look. One person said that it was shocking how beautiful woman could do something like that. What's more shocking is that her husband's reason for his behavior. According to Corcoran, her client was originally uninformed of Nathan Sloop's mental health difficulties and aggressive inclinations. Nathan Sloop felt envious of Stephanie Sloop's bond with her son. Stephanie Sloop fidgeted and wept as the circumstances behind Ethan's death were examined. The court sentenced Nathan Sloop to 25 years to life in prison for taking his stepson's life and 1 to 15 years for aggravated assault.